This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and I have another locksmith challenge for you today. But before we open it, a word of background. You see, one of the most common questions I get in the comments section is how long a lock would take to open if I'd never seen it before. Unfortunately, it's an impossible question to answer because every lock is different in subtle but important ways. Given two identical looking locks, one might take 30 seconds and the other 10 times that. But the more you face of any one kind of lock, the better you know what to expect. Now on expensive locks, that can be a pricey proposition. That's why I was pleased when I was contacted by a locksmith in the UK who wishes to remain anonymous. He'd seen video 1184 featuring this ERA maximum security padlock, and apparently it didn't sit right with him. He told me that he'd like to see a quote, more fair presentation of the lock, and to get a quote, realistic understanding of how long it would take to pick one open. He asked if he sent a lock with the same core, whether I would, as in past videos, open the package on camera and pick the lock. I agreed, and the lock arrived yesterday, covered in what appears to be white duct tape and red security scribble. So let's open the lock and see if we can give a realistic understanding of what it would take for an experienced picker to open this up. This package is just the keys and probably the security card. And in here we have the padlock. And I suspect this is probably going to be one of the more difficult packages to open. Wow, we have multiple layers of duct tape under there. And looks like some layers of paper under that. This is certainly well packaged, but it looks like we're finally getting to the lock and my hands are turning red. Next time, please use a permanent marker. Okay, here we go. For those of you who did not watch 1184, we're going to need a turning tool, a dimple pick, and a tiny little magnet to actuate the magnetic pin inside. Okay, let's get to work. Get that turning tool in the side of the keyway. And we're going to go back and start working on the telescoping chambers. We have four of them. Number three is binding. Got a nice click there. Nothing on the inner or outer pin. Same on four. I think we might have four set already. Okay, nice click out of one. Two. Okay, deep false set. I'm wondering if we just picked all of the concentric telescoping pins. There's four chambers there. Let's test out the magnetic pin. Yep, the magnetic pin just bound and we got a very deep false set, probably just inner driver pins left now. And we got that open. That was far faster than I was expecting. Let's fish that little magnet out of there. We don't want to lose that down the keyway. Okay, folks, I am not going to gut this one. I opened it right out of the package, so it's obviously not altered. And if you want to see what's inside of here, we have telescoping and magnetic pins. Check out video 1184, which I will link below. So to my anonymous benefactor, I've now published a quote, realistic understanding of what it takes to open this. I suspect it's pretty similar to my last video, but I got a nice lock out of it, so I can't complain. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.